In the programme this lunchtime, a coroner says an Ofsted inspection is likely to have contributed to the death of primary school head teacher Ruth Perry, who took her own life. A coroner has said that an Ofsted inspection is likely to have contributed to the death of Ruth Perry, the primary school head teacher who took her own life. Berkshire's senior coroner said the Ofsted inspection of Mrs Perry's school lacked fairness, respect and sensitivity and was at times rude and intimidating. Well, Ruth Perry, who was head at Caversham Primary in Reading, died in January while waiting for the Ofsted report on her school to be published. Our correspondent Duncan Kennedy has been at the inquest for us this morning. Duncan. Well, Ben, there were tears and hugs from Ruth Perry's family when that verdict was read out here this morning. It's believed to be the first time that Ofsted has been named as a contributing factor in the death of a teacher. The coroner herself described the lead inspector as at times rude and intimidating. This report from our education editor, Bramwyn Jeffries. Ruth Perry was the head teacher of Caversham Primary School for 13 years. She took her life in January this year. Ofsted was going to take the school from outstanding to inadequate, leaving Ruth Perry distressed from the first morning of the inspection. Ruth said that that first meeting, she said she felt it was just absolutely relentless. He said she couldn't, it felt like her head wasn't working properly, that he'd sort of fire a question at her and not give her time to think. And then another question and she didn't have time to answer and then she'd try to answer and he'd um, contradict what she'd say or come back. She was just in a complete state. Date. She kept repeating this, saying, I'm devastated, I'm broken, I'm traumatised. In evidence, other staff at the school described the lead inspector's behaviour as mocking and unpleasant. He told the court he paused their first conversation after Mrs Perry became tearful. Ofsted has previously described the inspection as professional and sensitive. The inquest heard that Ruth Perry was distressed, barely able to speak, after meeting the lead inspector on the first morning. Inspectors were raising concerns about the record keeping for keeping children safe at the school. As an experienced head teacher, Ruth Perry knew that if they were judged ineffective on safeguarding, they would be judged inadequate overall. The inquest also heard that no child came to harm. Caversham was where Ruth Perry had grown up. She went to the primary school as a child. Her family say she dwelt on what would happen when Ofsted published the report, fearing shame, humiliation and the loss of her job. This was going to be the end of her career and she didn't know what else she could do. I don't think she could hold her head up high. I think she was so distraught by it. She felt like she let everybody down, so she let down the governors, she let down the pupils, she let down the parents, she let down her family. Ruth Perry died on the 8th of January, just under two months after the inspection. Her GP said it had contributed to her deteriorating mental health and death. Ofsted published the report grading the school inadequate in March. It had Ruth Perry's name on it, a note at the end saying she'd died. This is when the family decided to speak out. I find it callous, heartless, insensitive, tone deaf, and these aren't just the terms that I've been using, to just pretend that things are OK. In April, a month after the family first said the inspection had contributed to Ruth's death, Ofsted responded. The findings were secure and I think the inspection team worked with the professionalism and sensitivity that I would expect from our inspectors. More changes were promised in June. Schools graded inadequate would be swiftly re-inspected, giving them a chance to change. Ofsted went back to Caversham Primary School in the summer. This time, it was graded good as a result of the changes made. Brown and Jeffries, BBC News. Well, the coroner also had many comments this morning about the training of Ofsted inspectors. She said, for example, that when it came to dealing with distressed head teachers, 
Inspectors were given just two minutes of training. And she also said there was no written guidance about dealing with pausing inspections if head teachers became distressed. Now, the whole issue of Ofsted and these one-word conclusions about being good or inadequate are now the subject of a, an Education Select Committee hearing in the Commons. That's due to report in the new year. In the meantime, Ruth's sister, Julia, has been speaking to the inquest, saying that Ruth's death has left a void in the family, and the family themselves will be giving a press conference in the next few minutes. Duncan, thank you very much. Duncan Kennedy reporting.